Namaskar. Welcome to Government e Marketplace. In this module, we will discuss about unblocking fund. The unblocking fund process on Government e Marketplace is a procedure through which funds that were initially blocked for a specific purchase order or contract can be released or unblocked. Unblocking funds process can be followed for 1. Bills in terminal state or initial state. 2. Bills in non terminal state. The buyer logs into Jam by clicking on login link. On clicking the login, the buyer is directed to the next screen. On this page, buyer enters Jam user ID and the captcha text visible on the screen. Then buyer can click on submit to proceed further. On this screen, buyer will need to enter the password. Then click on submit to proceed. Click on dashboard to proceed further. Welcome to your home page. After logging in as a consignee, you will view your home screen. Click on Dashboard to proceed further. Click here to open the Order Summary page. Scroll down. Click here to proceed. Under Manage Budget, Buyer will have three tabs Summary, Top Up, Unblock. Clicking on Summary will give the user a summarized view of blocked, unblocked transactions, settled, initiated, failed payments. The unblocking fund process on Government e Marketplace is a procedure through which funds that were initially blocked for a specific purchase order or contract can be released or unblocked. Unblocking funds process can be followed for 1. Bills in terminal state or initial state. 2. Bills in non terminal state. User will be able to view the remaining blocked amount. View the remaining blocked amount here. By clicking on top up tab, user will be able to add additional funds for the order. Click here to top up budget. Enter the amount to top up. Click on top up amount to complete the process. Once top up is successfully submitted, additional funds will be blocked. View the updated amount here. The unblocking fund process on Government e Marketplace is a procedure through which funds that were initially blocked for a specific purchase order or contract can be released or unblocked. Unblocking funds process can be followed for 1. Bills in terminal state or initial state. 2. Bills in non terminal state. Funds that were initially blocked for a specific purchase order or contract can be released or unblocked. Enter the amount to unblock. Upload the approval PDF file here. Click on Unblock Amount to release the remaining fund. Note, using this step, unblocking can be done for bills in both terminal and non-terminal stage. If the bills are in terminal, initiated stage, the buyer can alternatively unblock funds from the bill summary page. From your dashboard, click on Bills Process Bills to open the bill summary page. Click here to view the bill. Scroll down. We have two ways from which we can unblock the funds for bills in terminal or initial stage. From Manage Budget option on Bill Summary page, when the bill is marked as closed or in initiated stage, Manage Budget option is available to the user on the Bill Detail page to unblock the remaining balance. Click here to unblock the remaining balance. The system will provide a confirmation on successful unblocking of the fund. Clicking on Payment Status gives the current status of the payment to the buyer. Click here to view the payment status. A pop-up window with the current status will be visible to the buyer. The real-time status gets fetched on GEM once the status is updated on the integrated payment channel. Here are the key takeaways for the module. Initiation of the unblocking process can be done by the buyer who placed the order or their designated representative. Information required to initiate the unblocking includes the order or contract number, a reason for unblocking funds, and approval for unblocking the fund. Funds can be unblocked for cancelled orders, partially fulfilled orders, or when they are no longer required for the specific transaction. Here are the frequently asked questions. Who can initiate the unblocking of funds on government e-marketplace? The buyer who placed the order or their designated representative can initiate the unblocking of funds on Government eMarketplace. Can I unblock funds for a partially fulfilled order on Government eMarketplace? Yes, you can unblock funds for a partially fulfilled order. 
Government e marketplace allows you to unblock the remaining funds not utilized for the fulfilled portion. What happens after the funds are unblocked on government e marketplace? Once the funds are unblocked, they become available for use in new transactions or can be credited back to your account depending on the specific circumstances. Thank you.